we thought we'd give you an update on our peat free project. So today I'm going to do a few assessments comparing lettuce that is grown in peat to lettuce that isn't grown in peat. Using peat is basically the industry standard. Our blocks contain 80% peat at the moment. We are trying to solve a big problem and that is the use of peat in these little blocks that are so useful for us on the farm. So we've got five different peat-free mixtures in this field and what we can see is that the mixtures containing peat grow a lot more quickly than our lettuce that is grown in peat-free mixtures. But what we did see in our last trial was that the lettuce grown in mixtures not containing peat ended up growing more rapidly in the field. So we'll be coming back in a couple of weeks to check on this. People have been developing and quite successfully produced peat-free growing media for use in pots and containers for many years. But there, of course, it doesn't need to cling together. In these individual blocks, it needs to be sticky enough, coherent enough to, to hold its form throughout the formation process, the sowing process, and right through the growing phase, right until it's actually planted into the field. The first two trials, the germination wasn't very good. The peat-free mixes would stick to the blocking machine. Also, the dibblers that put the holes where the seed would fall were getting bunged up. That meant that the seed just didn't sit in the blocks very well. Throughout the whole project, there's been kind of a balance between finding things that will make the blocks mechanically sturdy enough and the other big challenge with producing a propagation medium it's important that it contains sufficient nutrients to grow effectively. So we're now at the end of um, trial two and um, what we're seeing is that the lettuce in the peat-free plot is actually quite comparable in some treatments to the lettuce that has been grown in peat blocks. So as you've seen at Delfland and at Coventry, we are having to put a little bit more resource into working out how we fine tune the processing of the ingredients that are going into the blocks. We've got good experimental mixes. Some of the trial mixes are nearly 100% germination. Even the poor ones are probably about 70%, but to scale it up so we could move over to, the, to a peat-free media entirely, it would have to be much more consistent. Today we're in the polytunnels here at Wash Farm Riverford and we've planted trial three and the plan now is to monitor this trial approximately every two weeks over the autumn and winter. Some of the academics up at Coventry University are going to be doing analyses on sort of the sustainability of the materials and also doing an economic analysis of the materials that are going into the blocks. So we'll look at those findings and we'll get back to you with the results of this trial.